Mr. Clown, what's your role here at Khan Academy? So I'm a developer on the data science team, so I work with a lot of the rest of the development team and uh, the rest of the data science team to look at questions like, how do we get people learning new content as quickly as possible so that we can get them learning new things but not overwhelming them with things that are too difficult. I've also done things like working on the LearnStorm team and making the leaderboards and doing the data analysis and software development that we need to get people's leaderboards up and running. And so on, on kind of the getting people to learn at a optimal speed or optimal quickness, how is that related to data? And this, you know, especially for people who think Khan Academy is, hey, there's a bunch of videos, there's some exercise. How does data help people learn as quickly as possible? Um, so one thing that we can look at is, um, one big thing that we were looking at was how long does it take people to, com to complete missions? And if we see that there are... And missions are kind of the, the personalized guided exercises on Khan right. Academy. Missions are the, the, yeah, the personalized path through the, the content in Khan Academy. And so what we can look at is we can look at among all people who are doing missions, um, what did their problem history look like? Like what problems have they done? Did they get them cor correct? Does it seem like they're just doing an extraordinarily large number of problems that look easy to them? Does it seem like they're just getting every problem wrong and we need to figure out some way to present them different content? And so we can look at um, people's paths through these various missions and then see, well, what are the sorts of things that we should tweak to maybe figure out a path that we can give people an accelerated way through a mission or where do we maybe need to add more content or figure out how to redirect people into a different mission path or things like that. And what does that look like on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, you know, how much of it is kind of, uh, uh, kind of science, how much of it is kind of software engineering, how much is it kind of a, kind of a more business side, you know, talking to the team and or outside folks to figure out what to do? I, I think at Khan Academy we're pretty unique in the data science team in that we actually do a lot of engineering and a lot of that I think is because we're, we're working with data that we often don't know how to make sense of, so what we need to do is um, try things. So we can use our intuition to make the best yes about what we think will help people's learning and then we design um, a test among a small number of users to see is this really in fact increasing their learning and then make sure before we roll it out to everyone. So we have a very sort of empirical engineering approach to doing this, whereas in a lot of other organizations you might see something more like we're going to make complicated models of our data and go with that, but I don't think we know how to make complicated models of our particular sort of data yet, but of course we're working on that too. And, and how, does that, how, how does that reflect it in your day to day? Like what do you wake up in the morning and you know, what's your days like or your average day? Uh, my average day, I probably spend most of my time doing software development, um, and then some of my time, especially depending on which project I'm working on at the time, can be some sort of investigative things like looking at um, aggregate statistics on problem logs, for instance, and seeing what people have, have been doing and how, how the, the modifications that we've been testing out have been affecting that. Um, and and, and, what if, what were, and you, you don't typically work here. I mean, you work here, yes. but you're not typically <laughs> in the office. Where do you work from? Yeah, normally I'm, I work remotely from New Jersey, um, and I work most of the time in a co-working space over there, um, but communicate with people here through our internal company chat and through video chat and things like that. What have you found has been kind of the, the, the puts and takes of that working remotely? Um, it's nice because you have a sort of a, a lot of freedom with your time and where you want to work. If I you don't have like people bothering you asking to videotape you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. You, you get a lot of nice isolated time. And working in a different time zone is actually kind of cool because you get an uninterrupted block of time yeah. every morning to work in. Um, but you lose a lot of that sort of face-to-face -face interaction that you get with people that's really, I mean, we have such great people here that it's, it's really a wonderful interaction that, that you're missing those sort of casual conversations and things like that. But overall, working out. Yeah, it, it's working out. It's it's a lot of fun. I still get to interact with people on a daily <laughs> basis from here. So yeah. And what were you doing before Khan Academy? Um, I was a grad student and briefly a postdoc at Stanford. I uh, I did my PhD in biochemistry there. Um, I did a lot of sort of work with data analysis and especially um, uh, analysis of biological microscopy images um, and sort of that bridged the gap between doing a lot of um, more sciencey side of data science, but then also programming and statistics. And, and, and what made you come here? I mean, you know, it sounds like you could have been a professor of biochemistry someplace. Yeah, well, well, two things. So one, I sort of, I, one thing that I really liked about science and especially the data analysis was like getting my hands dirty with the data and exper experiments and being able to do things on a day-to-day -day basis and not just like think or talk about them. Um, and I realized that the further you go down that academic career path, the more it's, 
it becomes abstract and further disconnected from the doing, and I really liked the doing aspect of things. Um, and actually a friend of mine who is a huge fan of Khan Academy saw that there were job op openings here and they were posting. He's like, oh, you should totally apply for this. This, this would be great. It would be perfect for you. You'd love this. So um, that's how I found out about Khan Academy. And, yeah. and, and what's, you know, what's the experience been like? As, what's been surprising to you? Um, I'm just, I mean, I, I was expecting that there would be great people here to work with, but I'm just constantly surprised by um, how wonderful and varied and um, just great people there are to work with here. And that continues to surprise me every day how, how awesome the people here are. Yeah, it surprises me, especially considering where we started. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been averaging up. Yeah, who is that guy? We, that we've, been averaging, we've, been, we've been averaging up for sure. And what are you excited about? Um, I'm, I'm super excited since we just finished the Learn Storm Finals. I'm super excited about Learn Storm. And for those right who don't now. know, because people all over the planet will be. In oh, the right, yes. So, so, so Learn Storm is a, is a pilot Bay Area math competition that we started. That, that the idea is, to, is not just to compete with math, but like learn and grow new things and get excited about learning new things and about realizing that you can, that you can learn anything. And so we had this hugely successful. Uh, pilot competition in the Bay Area, and I'm really excited about seeing where that goes next and how many people we can get excited about. Yeah, you about played a huge now. role in it, and we just had our kind of, as you mentioned, it wasn't about just kind of the classic math competition. It was celebrating grit and hustle and perseverance, and we just had our celebration, and you played a big role in that, so. Yeah, it, it, was, it was great fun, and it was wonderful to see all of, the, all of the students there who were just so excited about math and about learning, which was, which was wonderful to see. Yeah, no, no, same here. Well, I, I think I speak for our whole team. It's been it's been a, a huge pleasure to work with you, and I, I can't wait to see where, where things go from here. Absolutely. It's, it's been a great pleasure working here so far. So.